in five, four, three, two, one. Hey y'all, welcome back. I am Prophet B. Sam here from Trust, Obey, Imagine Ministries. This is a ministry where we not only learn how to be hearers of the word of God, but we also learn how to be doers of the word of God. In this ministry, we learn the three key elements, the key, the three key ingredients on how to strengthen and how to activate your faith walk by trusting God with all of your heart, leaning not into your own understanding, but all in, in all of your ways, acknowledging him so that he can direct your footsteps um, by obedience. For we know that obedience is better than sacrifice and for using our imagination, what the eye has not seen, what no ear has heard, even what our minds has not conceived or what the Lord has for us. So I know I've been saying I got to put a word out. I got to put a word out. But let me tell y'all, I'm just going to do a quick testimony because God really sat me down, like sat me, sat me down. And he officially released me to go ahead and put this word out today. OK, so this week I'm going to give a testimony. Um, I've been meaning to put out words this week, but God wasn't. He just he he, he sat me down. Um, I was under attack. You know, I had got my cell phone had got cut off. Now, mind you, if you have not listened to my story, God called me out of work in October. So, you know, I'm I'm literally every day trusting God and moving off of faith and, and, and allowing God to to, you know, open doors for me and, and have people bless me and stuff like that. Never have I been in this, in this position. But this journey, I'm learning how to trust God, to be obedient and to use my imagination. <laughs> So my cell phone bill got, you know, my cell phone bill came, phone got cut off, didn't have the money. I'm like, all right. And y'all, I'm Miss Queen Hustler. You know what I'm saying? And when I say he he threw my backup plan in the trash, there was no backup plan. I had every intention. Let me go ahead and DoorDash. Let me go ahead and do Instacart. Let me go ahead and do Amazon. Nope. It's to the point where my car is not even in driving condition right now because he wants me to sit down and be obedient and trust what he's doing in my life. So my cell phone got cut off. My cable then got cut off. I had no food in the house. When I say God came through for me, God came through for me, y'all. I was under attack. I really felt like Joe, but I was like, I'm not complaining. You know, me and the kids, we read, we, we sat and spent time with each other and read books every night. And I just trusted God that he was going to just do something for me. And he did. And it was people that you know, sown seeds to, you know, just randomly just bless me. And I'm just like, oh my God, because I needed this for this bill. And then not having food in my house, I had people send me groceries and, you know, he just, he just blessed me. And I was also under attack too, because my face was going through these crazy breakouts and my scalp was going through, it was just crazy. And I understood what was going on. See, the enemy wanted me to fold in that moment, but no, I trust the, I trust the mighty God. I will never choose the Satan over God, no matter what circumstances I am. You can take whatever, just say, just how he did with Job. I will choose God. I will forever choose God, you know? So that's just my testimony. God is good. God is so, so good. If you have sown into me, if you have sent me money, sent me blessings, let me tell you, this is good soil. This is good soil. And God is going to bless you. He's going to bless you simply from for, for blessing me and blessing this ministry and blessing my family because I'm living off of faith every single day. I'm walking by faith every single day. I don't know how my card note going to get paid. I don't know. But I'm believing God that he's going to it's going to be a miraculous turnaround that he's going to pay my whole entire loan off in Jesus mighty name. So he had me sit down and he was just speaking to me all week. He's speaking to me, he's speaking to me and speaking to me. And I had to get this word out. I have several words that I will be putting out today. So this word, right, is, I don't know the title, and I'll, I'll do the title at the end. But what the Holy Spirit revealed to me, this was yesterday. Now, all I did was go to my Yahoo and check my Yahoo mail. And when I checked my Yahoo, that's when I had got this major download. So y'all know me. I talk, text my notes, and then I print them out. Here's my notes. This is what God gave me. So I'm going to read them off, okay? And I might freestyle and add a little bit, you know. So, okay, so right now, okay, so if you're in a season, if you're, you know, if, if this message, if God, use these messages as confirmation. 
Okay. If you don't know, if you're unsure, if you're in your marriage season, go to God, but always use this as confirmation. Don't use this as the main word because God normally speaks to us and then he sends us vessel. He sends people and things, signs, miracles, and wonders to confirm what he told us. Okay. So if this is for you, then this is for you. If it's not, just take it to the Lord and ask him for confirmation. Okay. So as of right now, you and your kingdom spouse are finally in sync. You guys are finally in alignment, right? And reason being is because your, your kingdom spouse is finally in alignment with the will of God. Okay. So with them being in alignment with the will of God, that's putting y'all two in alignment. You understand? So with this spouse, the aha moment, the light bulb finally went off in your kingdom spouse's head. It woke him up. You, my friend, you were the vessel. You were that, that light shining in darkness in your person's light. And because of your light, that woke him up. Okay. So this person is going to be now, this is a prophetic word. Like I said, use this as confirmation, but what the Holy spirit dropped in my spirit was this person is going to be coming to you between now and before the end of this year. Okay. The next three holidays, this person is coming to spend the holidays with you. Okay. They might want to spend Christmas with you. They might want to spend Thanksgiving with you. Okay. But they're arriving within the next holiday. And y'all, I want to hear your testimonies. Um, whenever you see this message, they are arriving within the next holiday, <clears throat> whether it be in Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's. Okay. Um, you will know if this is your season of marriage, you know, God, by then God has already confirmed to you that you're in your season of marriage. Okay. They had their eye on you. They are laser focused on you. Um, your spouse sometimes ride passes your house. They could be looking through your window. It sounds creepy, but it's not, it's more so of them, you know, being like a, a bodyguard, like, like a watchman, you know what I'm saying? Just watching, just watching to make sure you Gucci. Um, now here's some advice. You might need to order some lounge outfits for Christmas because like I said, they might want to spend Christmas with you. They might want to take pictures in the PJs, the matching PJ sets and stuff like that. Okay. But this person again with the 911, that's, it's been real heavy in my spirit. This number 911, it's an emergency, an emergency. This person feels like it's an emergency. They feel like they got to hurry up and come through before somebody snatch you up. Cause they already know you wifey material. Right. Um, and even during this time, they could be possibly coming with a, coming with a ring. That's I've been saying this for a little bit now. Okay. Um, they miss you, you know? So if you've been seeing like the word ring, if you've been seeing rings, if you've been seeing advertisements, advertisements of rings, if you've been seeing, um, bells, like it, advertisement of bells, um, if you've been seeing, um, the word gift, then this message is for you. If you've been seeing the word arrival a lot, then this message is for you. Um, you know, also with this gift, you know, this is the, the gift that's coming in. This is also the, the, the gift from God. You know, this is tying to, this is connecting to your financial breakthrough because your abundance is, is connected to your spouse. Your spouse's abundance is connected to you. Okay. And this is your heavenly reward for your suffering that you have experienced. All the things that you have experienced during this journey, loss of friends, you know, persecution, betrayal, all the things that you have experienced and you endured and you still was faithful. This is your gift from God. Okay. Um, and this is countdown time. So even if you've been seeing three, two, one, one, two, three, 11, 44, five, 11, two, three, four, nine, 11. This message is also for you. Your person just got the green light. I heard the song, give me a green light. So if you think about it like this, God approved your person to come to you. That's just like somebody asking your father, your bit, your biological. Don't do that. Y'all your biological father. Can I, can I marry your daughter? Right. And the father like, nah, you're not right. I, I can't release you to my daughter because you're not right. So he was like, all right, let me go ahead and get back. Right. So the father kind of like coached him one-on-one, -on -one, like, all right, this is what you need to do. You need to focus on this healing. You need to focus on this. You need to focus on this. Then hubby came back like, yo, can I, can I put a ring on her yet? Can I put a ring on her now? Dad was like, nah. So he said, all right, let me go. So God said, let me, let me walk you through. No, uh-uh. Sorry, y'all. Please don't come in here, y'all. Cause I get thrown off track when I'm trying to talk. Go ahead, Sana. So, um, you know, the Holy Spirit, like, you got to come correct. 
I can't approve you. I can't, I can't release you to my daughter because you're not all the way there. You're not all the way correct. So let's go ahead and work on this one more time. So your person finally went ahead to go work on themselves. God coached them and walked them through in this process of working on herself, healing, releasing, you know, uh, uh, getting rid of unhealthy uh, attachments and negative attachments and, you know, being free from addictions and, you know, pornography and lust and stuff like that. He came back to God. He got permission from God and God like, okay, bro, you, you got it all the way right. Now I can release you. So right now is the final release. If you've been seeing final or finality, this right now is the final release for your person to come to pursue you, for your person to come ring that bell, knock at that door, pull up, send that message, make that phone call. Okay. So I'm going to take this back to the scripture. Why this is God. This is God's blessing to you. Matthew 5 11 says, blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely, falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. This is why you're getting blessed. This is why you're getting blessed. Matthew 5, 12 also says, rejoice and be glad for your reward in heaven is great. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Okay. And then you have Romans 8, 17. And if children, hairs also, hairs of God and fellow hairs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him so that we also may be glorified with him. Right. So the beautiful part about this also, right. I had just so happened to flip through the pages in the Bible and what, what opened up, it stuck out to me. And it was songs of Solomon, songs of song in some Bibles. And normally God, when I would read song of Solomon, God always took me to, um, don't awaken love or don't arouse love. He always took me to that particular scripture. But yesterday, guess what? He took me to this scripture. Y'all ready for it? This is, um, Jesus. This is song of Psalms chapter three, verse six through 10. It says, who is this coming up from the wilderness? Like a column of smoke perfumed with mirror and incense made from all spices of the merchant. Look, it is Solomon's carriage escorted by 60 warriors to the noblest of Israel. All of them wearing a sword, all experienced in battle, each with his sword at his side, prepared for the terrors of the night. King Solomon made for himself the carriage. He made it of wood from Lebanon. Le Lebanon. It posts its post made of silver, its base of gold, its seat was upholstered with purple, its interior inlaid with love. Daughters of Jerusalem, come out and look. You're, you, daughter of Zion, you, daughter of Zion, look on King Solomon wearing a crown, the crown with which his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding, the day his heart rejoiced. So ain't no need to be go looking for it. Ain't no need to hit them up because they've been released. And now being as though they've been released, they are coming for you. They are coming to crown you as their, their queen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and he showed me like, this is just how in the book of Genesis, it talks about Eden and how the curse had took place. But it, when you go to revelations, it talks about how Eden has been restored. So y'all, we went through all these chapters. We went through all these cycles and now Eden has been restored. The curse has been broken. And another signifier of, of curse being broken, y'all, is marriage. Is marriage. You feel me? So um, it's beautiful because a young lady, Corinne Like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because if it, she had put a scripture on there saying, Look, I am coming soon. And that was in the book of Revelations, um, Revelation 22, verses 3. And that's what God brought me to when it came to the curse being broken. So thank you so much, Corinne. But the, bro the, bro the curse has been broken. Eden has been restored. So now your, your groom can come. They can come for you. They've been released. The curse of the land is no longer desolate. The curse of the land is broken. There's no more curse of the land. Marriage is here. If this is your season, God already told you multiple times that this is your season. So take this as confirmation. Okay. And it says this revelation promises that our longings are not near fantasies. They will come true when we awake in new heaven and new earth. We will have it last. We will have it last. We will have it 
at last, whatever we long for, somehow from all the bad news and revelation, good news emerges. Spectacularly good news. The promise of goodness without a catch. The end will be, the end will be but a beginning. So if you've been seeing 1111 or 111, this message is also for you. Okay. And the songs that I kept seeing, it's been crazy. The song that I kept seeing is um Tank. Um, and it features somebody else, but it's Tank is on I'm on my way. That song. And the song also that dropped in my spirit, You Can Ring My Bell by Anita Ward. Um, the all the song also that popped up was I Miss You by Harold Melvin. Okay, I'm gonna do a few lyrical messages on those words, on those um songs too. So just just you know, tune in. But y'all, it's a celebration. Okay, it's a celebration. The curse has been broken. The curse in Eden is lifted. And now your person has been officially released to come for you. Good job for not awakening love when it wasn't ready. Good job for being steadfast and being obedient and not sending that text message, not calling when you wanted to call, when your flesh had, had you know, was longing for him. Good job for your time has come. Your time has come. So celebrate, y'all. It's official. It's official. OK, so again, make sure you all like, share and subscribe for more content so I can keep it going. Um, press the notification button so you know when I'm uploading. Um, if you feel led to sow a seed, to connect with this seed, my information is down the bottom, down below. Y'all, make sure y'all send me your testimonies, okay? My email information is all on every all of the videos. Make sure y'all send me your testimonies because y'all fitting to get proposed to. The, these next couple of holidays is about to be fireworks. So go ahead and get your house ready. Go ahead and order your matching PJ set. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> this is where I go down. And I'm excited for you. And I congratulate you in advance. Good job. Well done, my good and faithful servant, says the Lord. I love you. I am Prophet B. Sam here at Trust Obey Imagine Ministries. Thank you so much for your time. I'll holla. <laughs>